how's it going guys, Bros here with another video. Um, before I get into this, I just want to talk about the giveaway real quick. Um, I will have the link to the other video in the description. Um, if you guys haven't and are interested in, go to that video and comment hashtag 710 for a chance to enter. Uh, on July 10th, the winner will be picked. So. Um, just wanted to put that out there for anyone that hasn't joined in yet. Uh, there's going to be seeds, dab, mat, uh, silicone mats, dab tools, I believe there's a silicone rig, and a couple of other things that uh, Elevated King is going to be giving away. He'll be sending me the uh, clips of the drawings so I can put them in the video on 710 when I upload for it. So, uh, I just wanted to put that out there for y'all, just in case anyone that wants to join hasn't yet. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. So, after that little, uh, intro, I'm gonna go show you guys the flower girls. So, the lights are on right now. Um, there's like an hour till they go off, but I'll just lower the brightness for a few. So, we have this wedding cake that... It looks like it's starting to catch up from where it was at like a week or two ago, but it is definitely still behind the rest of the plants. So oh, when harvest time does come, which will be quite soon, this one is going to have to stay, sadly. Um, this do -si do you can see she's, I'm really just letting them all go at this point. They're fading eating off their newts. Uh, she can't even hold up that branch really anymore. It's probably going to snap in the next few days. So I have to try and like prop that branch up actually. But uh, doing good. We got the blueberry yum yum over here, which is starting to get some nice purpling on the leaves. Not much on the buds, but really nice coloration all around. It smells really nice. Really fruity to be honest, which I would honestly expect. Uh, we have a granddaddy purple right here, which she's got beautiful leaves, great coloration to her, a uh, little bit of purple on the bud, not a lot, but all in all, really nice strain. Honestly, it, uh, it did pick up compared to where I thought it was going to be, so it honestly did a good job. And then we have the killer in here, the tangy. The straight frost factory over here with some really beautiful colors all around. Just gorgeous blood red stem basically all the way through. At least once the flowers start, you can see some green over there. All in all, that plant is killer. Really, really sticky to be honest. I think there's a kind of sticking together from that. The other one, which I'm kind of scared to look in, to be honest. I'm always scared looking in this top. All right, we're good. So we got the do -si do Purple Punch. She's got some really nice thick nugs on her. Really finishing up nice. Um, you can't really see it with the phone, like in its current state. Yeah, no, it's not gonna focus well enough. But you can kind of see amber trichomes on uh the leaves now just by looking at them so they're, they're they're getting pretty close we got the mimosa which i had to turn her to face here because this entire thing it can't hold itself up it's just it needs to just like fall and when i came home the other day it almost was like snapped so i had to move her over but she is frosty you might be able to see some amber trichomes on her actually as well a little bit, a little bit, but she did good on a lot of small little nugs, so trimming this is gonna suck, but it is what it is, um, we got the do -si do which is starting to fade out really nice, got that killer nug, that entire branch is just thick, boy, so I'm going to be trying to re-veg this. I'm only going to be chopping the main two heads, and I'm going to be leaving all the rest of the lowers, and I'm going to be feeding it veg newts once I chop it. I'm honestly probably going to start feeding it some flower newts again in 
like a day or two before harvest just so then that way it has fresh nutrients again uh, we got the this is the other wedding cake oh, that one, yeah wedding cake and uh, this one straight killed it this one's ready basically really nice solid nugs really like pointy too like kind of sharp it kind of hurts to like press down on it and then we got the mango which is falling over as well she needs I need to turn her so she'll actually lean against the tent because she's gonna snap soon too I don't think she can hold herself up much longer but uh, good sized nugs all around decent sized nugs looks really nice really excited for these Oh, hands smell beautiful. Such a nice look in this fucking tent. It'll be sad when it's gone. <coughs> and then we got the seedlings over here. We still got that one short stubby one. The other ones are doing their thing though. Uh, probably need to water them today to be honest. One of them looks a little sad. I think it's the, yeah, the cereal milk's looking a little upset. So probably gonna have to water them later. They're looking good. Probably just about ready for a transplant, actually. And then I haven't looked in here in a while. Hey, everything's good. So we got some deficiencies going on because I haven't fed them in a while. Like you can tell that leaf just looks. Yeah. So yeah, they're definitely hungry. Got some deficiencies going, but they've just been kind of sitting in here. I don't really have a plan for them right now. I plan on keeping a few, but not a lot of them, so, oh yeah, I can start to see a cow mag deficiency starting here, you can kind of see the rustic spot, yeah, yeah, they're going to need to get fed soon, but they're doing good all in all, they're still growing, they're nice and bushy for the most part, I just have to figure out which ones I want to keep, so. and then I'll take you all downtown real quick. And how are they looking? Oh, good. Then we got these girls, the alien tech and the blue dream that have just been kind of sitting in here. Um, oh, I got some dust on her. Uh, they're doing good. I've got a plan for these girls, which I know I told Elevated about it. I want to uh, kind of keep it a secret for now till I actually do do it. Um, they've been neglected for a while. Like, they have a lot of dead leaves down here. But, I mean, they're still healthy they have like no deficiency shockingly like they got so much lower growth that like i haven't fed these in probably two weeks and they don't have like any deficiencies they just have like they're just eating off their leaves so like i'm okay with it for now i let them veg out way too long as it is so i'm just gonna kind of let them do their thing for a little bit longer but they're looking good they're happy yeah doing good so that's about it guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the update, uh, very happy to bring you this, uh, don't forget to enter that giveaway if you guys want, uh, you do have to be 18 or older, and I believe it is US and Canada only, I believe, so just keep that in mind, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, stay medicated my friends.